Welcome to the all planned quick start for buried structures lesson two, adding inserts to a precast vault. Now that we have the shape of the precast vault modeled from our first lesson, we can now move on to placing inserts such as lifters. To make things a little easier to work with, we are going to start out by going into our objects palette and hiding the bottom half of our vault. If the object palette is not visible in your palette area, simply right click on the blank space in your action bar and click on object. This will bring up the object tab in the palette area. Once in the objects palette area, you can choose which objects to show. To make the bottom part of the vault hidden, click on the eye next to it. This will hide it until you choose to click on the eye again to unhide. Now we can start adding inserts into the top part of our vault. Let's open up our wizard palette and load in the supplied wizard group. To do so, right click on the title of the wizard group and select add group. Then click on the supplied wizard group labeled buried structures. The location of the file will be wherever you saved it from the download. Once clicked on, select open. This will automatically open the buried structures wizard in the palette. Now we can begin adding in the inserts. Double right click on the 4.75 inch dog bone lifter to activate it to bring into your model. We will again use our X and Y directions in the command line to specify exact locations of the lifters and then click on the corner of the vault. This places our first lifter. As you can see, we didn't specify a Z direction, so we will have to use the move command in our elevation view to move it to the desired location. We will then use the copy and mirror command to mirror it to the opposite side. To use this command, we first have the lifter highlighted, click on the copy and mirror command, hover over the axis in which you want to mirror on, move your cursor directly down to start your track line, left click, then move the cursor further down to draw the axis on which you want to mirror. Click again. This will have mirrored the lifter to the opposite side. Now we will repeat that process to mirror the two lifters on the horizontal axis. We now have our first set of lifters in our vault, but we are going to place in some more in the walls of our vault. Go back to your wizard palette and double right click on RL10 lifter. We want to place it in the wall of our vault. To make that easier, we will choose the center insertion point and specify 16 inches in the X direction and 3 inches in the Y direction in the command line. This will place the lifter in the location desired. Again, we did not specify a Z direction in the placement of the lifter, so we will have to move it up to the top of the slab in the elevation view window. We can now copy and mirror to the other sides of the vault. Now we have all of the lifting inserts necessary for the top piece of our vault and we can move to the bottom piece. We will go back to our object palette and turn the bottom half on and the upper half model and lifters off. In our wizard palette, we will choose the 4.75 inch dog bone lifter again by double right clicking on it. We will place it 16 inches away from the corner in both the X and Y direction by entering the distance in the command line and then move it up to the top of the slab in the elevation view.
We can now mirror that to the other sides as we did previously for the top part of the slab. Simply click on the lifter, hover over the midpoint of the vault, move the cursor to create the track line, click to start the axis, continue moving the cursor along the axis you want to mirror, and click again to finish the mirror, and hit escape. We can now move on to the pull steel. Double right click on the first pull steel to activate it. Bring it over to the plan view, hover over the midpoint of the vault to start the track line. Bring the track line over to the edge of the wall, right click and choose fixed Y to lock the Y location. Now move on to the elevation view to choose the location as shown. We can now copy and rotate to the other locations in the vault. For this one, we will use track points from each side of the wall to get the center of the vault and mirror off of this point. When this point is chosen, we can enter in a rotation angle of 90 degrees. Because the vault is not square, we will have to then move the pull steel in the Y direction in the elevation view to place it in the correct spot. We can now mirror each insert to the correct locations. Now that we have all of our lifting inserts in, we can unhide the upper portion of the vault in the objects palette to see the entire model. Please join us in our next quick start for buried structures lesson 3, reinforcing a vault.